BYU football approaches uncharted territory loaded with opportunity in the 2013 season. Year three of independence has given the Cougars arguably the toughest schedule in program history, but the potential to make an unforgettable run. The Cougars open with an East Coast road trip to Virginia before a three-game homestand featuring the likes of traditional power Texas and the rivalry showdown with Utah. In October, BYU can avenge a heartbreaking one-point loss to Boise State when the Broncos leave their blue turf and head to Provo. Unlike recent years, November presents immense challenges to the Cougars, namely a visit to Camp Randall in Wisconsin, plus a repeat trip to storied South Bend and Notre Dame. The Cougars will take on this schedule with record-setting standouts. Senior Kyle Van Noy is the only player in college football to record a stat in every defensive category during the last two seasons. A repeat effort by Van Noy could make him BYU's all-time sacks leader and bring major postseason hardware. Kyle Van Noy. On the offensive side, senior wide receiver Cody Hoffman needs just three touchdown catches to break the BYU all-time record. He's on pace to become the career leader in receiving yards and total catches as well. Touchdown! A pair of sophomore sensations will join those senior leaders in 2013. Engineering the BYU offense, quarterback Taysom Hill. The dual threat signal caller will have a very capable running back lined up behind him. Jamal Williams returns after compiling almost 1,100 total yards as a 17-year-old. While the offense implements their new go-fast, go-hard system, Bronco Mendenhall will again look to his defense to stand out. Last year, his crew allowed just two touchdowns a game, and despite key NFL departures, hope to equal that standard of excellence this year. BYU Cougar football in 2013, opportunity knocks. And Spencer Linton is with us. You look at that schedule and uh, so many teams jump off the page. Who jumps off for you? Right now, I'm looking at that second game against Texas. The Longhorns are coming off a couple of disappointing seasons right. in their own fan base's mind. But they have the speed, they have the athleticism, and now they have the experience. It's a huge game on BYU's schedule. Last year, we saw Manti Teo make a Heisman run, so to speak. Uh, here comes Kyle Van Noy with a lot of hype and some big-time opponents to do good things against. Could that get him there? Well, I think you bring up a good point there. Manti Teo really shined when the national spotlight was on. Kyle Van Noy's going to bring his game every game, but if he can do that against those big-name opponents, certainly the Heisman hype will generate. Uh, you could see him taking on some serious hardware. As you look at this BYU team, you got studs on defense, you got a young quarterback, you got a great receiver. Who are you looking to see the most this fall? Well, obviously, the health of Taysom Hill is a big topic right now. Um, Mostly, I'm looking at that offense. The defense, uh, we've heard so much about over the past year, but the offense with Coach and I coming back in, I'll be very interested to see what he does with Taysom Hill and Jamal Williams. And then you mentioned Cody Hoffman as well. So much talent. What can Coach and I do with that? Spencer Linton, great to have you here. Thank you. Good to be here.